So, good day everyone. This is the chapter 14. It's about Hans Icy. And let's start our discussion. Hans Eysink, 1916 to 1997, that Hans Eysink was born on March 14, 1916 in Berlin, and he is the German psychologist, and Hans Eysink was a 20th century psychologist who studied a wide variety of psychological phenomena. He is best known for his work in the fields of intelligence and personality. And he focused his attention on intelligence and personality and helped launch the psychological journal. I think made a significant contribution to the field of psychology, publishing around 80 books as well as writing hundreds of articles. Also, over the course of his career, he published more than 75 books and over 1,600 journal articles. I think we drew criticism for suggesting that biological or genetic factors influence personality and an individual's susceptibility to engage in criminal behavior. And he died in London in 1997, age of 81 at the time. He was the most frequently cited author in psychology journals. He was also founding editor of the influential journal Personality and Individual Differences. Contribution of Hans Eysenck to psychology is Eysenck's primary research interest was in the field of personality. He developed the concept of neuroticism, arguing that it was a biological form of emotional instability. He argued against psychoanalysis claiming that it was unscientific, instead he favored a behavioral approach to therapy. And his theory of personality compares two central factors, extraversion, symbol of E, and neuroticism, symbol of N, from which four basic personality types flow. Also known as factor analysis to identify what we believe were the two primary dimensions of personality, extraversion and neuroticism, he later added a third dimension known as psychoticism. I think was a hugely influence, influential figure in psychology. His personality types are based on hypothetes. Personality formulation of Hans I think. First is high neuroticism and high extraversion results in a choleric personality. Example of the choleric personality is an assertive and leader-like person, which is, these are the people who are extremely practical and straightforward. They aren't necessarily good companions or particularly friendly. These are the, you can, example of the person, you can give an opinion and say how you feel. You can ask for what you want or need. You can disagree the respect for them. It is one of the example of the leader like person is one of the key leadership skills for achieving success in leading group of people by standing up by yourself and your group and communicating your needs. You will gain respect for yourself and your group because people respect those who can honestly express their feelings and needs in a non-confrontational. Second is high neuroticism and low extraversion. This results in a melancholic personality, which is the example is a cautious and introverted type, who has more interest in themselves than others or has difficulty relating to people outside of themselves. An example of introvert is Someone who sits in a corner alone, but talking with anyone at the party. And the third is low neuroticism and high exaggeration results in a sanguine personality. There is example of sociable and charismatic type. This is someone or something with a compelling and charming personality of traits that are attractive and alluring to others. Example of this person is someone who everyone likes 
and wants to be around because of his compelling personality, like being a sociable person. That person uh, is considered as extrovert. And lastly, low neurotic syndrome and low extroversion results in phlegmatic personality. Example of phlegmatic personality is a consistent or a calm person. This person is soft and classify someone to make him free or stressed or become free or stressed or soft and tend to be relaxed, peaceful, quiet, and easy going and is uh, being consistent and action that steady and unchanging. Overview of biological based trait theory of Hans Eising. Hans Eising was a personal theorist who focused on the environment and innate genetically based personality differences. And he believed personality is largely governed by biology. And he viewed people as having two specific personality dimensions, like extraversion versus introversion and neuroticism versus stability. And after collaborating with his wife and fellow personality, theorist said that I see he added a third dimension to this model, which is psychoticism versus socialization. And according to the theory, people high on the trait of extroversion are sociable, whereas people high on the trait of introversion have higher needs to be alone. Uh, this is uh, this, according to the theory, is for us, this is common, but according to the theory said extroversion, this is the person who loves outgoing and readily connect with others, and the word of social work is you are comfortable with a lot of people. Well, the introversion, it engages in solitary behaviors and limit their interaction with others. And that is the differences both of them. And next is the in the neuroticism or stability dimension, people high on neuroticism tend to be anxious. And people who have high on stability, it is need more stimulation to activate the fight or flight. We will expand that, that neuroticism or stability dimension, people high on neuroticism, they tend to have an overactive sympathetic nervous system and even with low stress. Their bodies and emotional state tend to go into a flight or fight reaction. In contrast, in contrast, people who have high instability tend to need more stimulation to activate their flight or fight reaction and are therefore considered more emotional, emotionally stable. And uh, next is people high psychosystem or socialization dimension and people high on socialization often referred to as sober ego control. The, uh, that means in the psychoticism social or socialization dimension, people who are who are high on psychoticism tend to be independent thinkers, cold, nonconformist, impulsive, antisocial, and hostile. People who are high on socialization tend to have high impulse control. They are more altruistic, empathetic, cooperative, and conventional. The major strength of IC model is that he was one of the first to make his approach more quantifiable. It was therefore perceived to be more legitimate or more inappropriate and within the rules. As a common criticism of psychological theories is that they are not empirically very relevant. Next is I think the first that extraversion was caused by variability in cortical arousal and introverts characteristically having a higher level of activity in this area that extroverts. Next is lastly is he also hypothesized that neuroticism was determined by individual differences in the limbic system. This, this is the part of the human brain involved in emotion, motivation, and emotional association in memory. I think three personality factors and identified the three sort of factors. These are the extraversion, 
neuroticism, and psychotricism. According to Isang, I think that identified of Christopher factors is higher order factors are similar, similar to types and they represent combination of primary personality traits. Even the primary factors are comprised of lower level responses that results in hierarchical, hierarchical model of personality. Specific responses, habitual responses, traits, or even the finally types. And that three identified super factors, we will expand that later, it will be reported by Mr. George Pambalan. Extraversion, this is the term of word of extraversion is extrovert, like an extrovert because extraversion versus introversion. So extraversion is this is the connections of other people that that person is likely to open uh, about in the social uh, connection with the friends, family, and extraversion is a combination of sociability. Like what I said earlier, impulsiveness, frivolity, general activity, and overt sexuality. And next is the complex nature of each higher order factor may lead to some of the differences in personality theory. And according to Ising, the impulsiveness associated with real extroversion is most likely to be influenced by one's environment. So that is the meaning of extroversion, is more likely to be influenced by one's environment. Uh, they have, they, they can possible adapt adopt they can adopt in one's environment and next is perhaps it is not surprising that I think finds support for her hereditary influences on personality whereas others like Katu and find support for environmental influences. Next is depending on how one designs their questions and experiments the component traits within higher order factor can support can support different perspectives. And this is subversion is positive affectivity marked by pronouns and engagement with the external world world and characterized by high sociability, talkativeness, energy and assertiveness. It is caused by variability and particle arousal that of hands I see. and that is the extroversion so this is the I think hierarchical system of extroversion uh, extroversion that I said late, uh, earlier uh, they enjoy being with people participating in social gatherings and are full of energy and these are the system of extroversion like sociable, lively, active, assertive, sensation seeking, carefree, dominant, surgeon, and better son. As like we said, the uh, word of sociable, willing to talk and engage in activities with other people. Lively, full of life and energy, active and at end of growing. And active is have similarities of the lively. And next is assertive, showing a confident, a forceful personality. And next is the sensation seeking, which we love experience. This is the people uh, like uh, excitement and uh, adventures are the person who had uh, to take risks for its own sake and who have made may take its person those experiences. I am the previous reporter and I am Jar Nicole Israel. The, the rest of this topic will be reported by Mr. George Kamala. Thank you.